Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at cleaning out the burrs of your grinder. Hey guys, so I had this video as a request recently and I thought it would be very good to do, especially because I haven't actually cleaned out my grinder in quite a while. I was a little bit worried about how it would look. But before we get started, just a bit of a disclaimer guys, because this can be potentially dangerous. You have to be very careful so you don't misalign the threads. So if you're not confident with doing it, don't attempt it. Also make sure you pull the power out before you get started. I don't want to hear anyone uh, hurting themselves or anything like that. So if you're not very confident, don't do it. Nevertheless guys, if you're methodical in your approach, it is pretty straightforward. So let's begin with cleaning out the burrs of your grinder. First of all, a good way to go about it is to mark your current grind setting just with a whiteboard marker uh, before you start to uh, detach anything. That way you'll have a bit of an idea of where you want to get back to um, when you uh, tighten it back up. Next up, take off any safety screws that'll stop you from undoing the grinder collar and then start moving the collar around coarser. Now, every time you move back to your original starting position, just take note of that. So you want to count how many full turns it takes before it's off the thread. As it gets to that point where you can feel it coming off the thread, um, I also like to just mark a little spot there, uh, again with the whiteboard marker. So you could see with my Mazza Mini, it was a little bit over four rotations before it was off the thread. Okay, so now you can pull that collar off and just put it to one side and you can remove that casing for the top burr. And you'll see straight away why it's so important to keep your grinder clean. Um, admittedly, I haven't done this for maybe a year myself, but it is only my home grinder. If you could imagine a commercial setting, um, how quickly that grind and gunk builds up. So now you've got to remove that bottom burr. And the easiest way to do that is to take the uh, part that actually spins around and just lodge something so it gets stuck and it can't spin. And then that way you can undo those screws easily. From here guys, you just have to clean. So for me personally, I use a dry chucks. I don't put any water in the area at all um, and just kind of wipe it down, clean it that way. And it's also very handy if you have a vacuum you can use, uh, not one obviously that you use to vacuum the floor, but if you perhaps have a, an attachment that you don't use for anything else, uh, you can use that. The last thing I like to do is get a uh, chucks cloth and say wrap it around the end of a spoon and use that to reach all of the places that I can't get to easily. I also like to use a little toothpick to clean out the uh, teeth of the burrs as well. Okay, so now it's time to put it all back together and this is where you have to be really careful, okay? So first of all, you have to make sure those grinder burrs are seated nicely and when I do them back up, I just like to tighten the screws a little bit at a time each and then just keep going around and slowly tightening them, making sure that it's sitting and seated properly. Of course, the top burrow gets the same treatment with the cleaning and then it's the same thing. You've got to make sure it's seated really nicely before you start screwing it back in and screw it in nice and evenly. Remembering guys that if you don't seat these burrs evenly, it's going to mean that they're not even when it comes time to grinding and that means you're going to get an uneven grind size and can potentially damage your grinder if they're really unevenly seated. Okay, once you've put everything back together, it's time to uh, do up the collar again and this is the part where you have to be very careful because if you skip the thread when you're putting the collar back on, um, it's going to mean that your uh, grinder, your top burr is on a lean and there's no real way to fix it. So you have to make sure you do this very carefully. The best way I've found to do it is to sit that chamber that's holding the uh, top burr back on and then uh, sit the collar back on and just spin it in the uh, coarser direction just to make sure it's sitting nice and evenly and then making sure it's sitting on the position where it was when it was first off the thread. I put a little bit of pressure on that uh, chamber holding the top burr and then slowly spin the uh, collar to the finer direction. Obviously do not try to force anything, just make sure you go nice and slowly and evenly and make sure that that thread is on correctly. After you've done that, just spin it back the uh, correct amount of times and sit it back in that position where the grind was before you started. Of course the alternative way to do it is to sit it about um, half a turn off where it was before and then being very careful, put the power back on and turn the grinder on and you slowly spin it around finer until you get the chirping noise that means the grinder is at zero and then back it off about sort of eight notches, obviously depending on your grinder. Obviously while you're here cleaning, you may as well give the dosing chamber the same treatment. It's very easy, you just unscrew that top screw and then twist that uh, knob off that kind of adjusts how much it doses each pull of that uh, doser lever. And then from there you just keep twisting and you can pull all of that out 
and clean out that chamber. So there you go guys, that's how you clean down a grinder and your coffee will definitely be tasting better if you can do this semi-regularly. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, click that like button, that really helps me. If this is your first video, make sure you subscribe because I have two videos a week, uh, anything coffee related could be a potential video. And if you have an idea or a suggestion for a video, there's something you wanna learn, just put it as a comment below and I might use it to uh, choose my next video. Thanks guys so much. Remember to check me out on the other social media if you haven't been following me there and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for watching till the end guys. Remember if you want to support Coffee Fusion, the best way to do that is buy yourself some coffee from the Coffee Fusion website. It's coffeefusion.com.au and I'm buying some really nice greens so the coffee is tasting great. Cheers.